Greetings and welcome to YarnSpirations.com. I'm Mary Beth Temple with Hooked for Life, and in this video we're going to take a brief look at doing chain stitch embroidery on a crochet base. Now I have made just a single crochet swatch to talk about the kind of stitching that I'm doing. Now if you were trying to do something in a particular form, you would use something to trace the design onto your fabric. Now I honestly have used a red Sharpie marker because everything else that I tried didn't really show up on camera and I want you to see what I'm doing. You could do a number of things. There are markers that you can get at the craft supply store or the big box store that disappear. It's like disappearing ink. You draw it. It's like a felt tip marker and you draw on there and it disappears. However, before you do a large piece in one of those markers, I strongly suggest that you check on a small area, maybe on the back, make a little X and make sure it does disappear because while it does 90% of the time, heaven forbid it is the one time that it doesn't work and it's on your beautiful project. Alternatively, in these kinds of stores, you can find a pencil that the lead is made of chalk and they come in blue generally or white and sometimes some other colors. You can use that to draw your line with. I do not recommend the wax pencils on yarn. They're really hard to get out. So pardon me for my Sharpie marker, but I did want you to be able to see what I was doing. So to get started, I just uh, did a little end weaving in, in the back to get my yarn secure. And I'm going to come up where my line begins from the back of the work. Don't pull too tight. You're going to pull your, uh, your, uh, your end out. And I'm going to put the needle back down in the exact same place that I came out of. Now I find it, e this is called the scooping method. <laughs> I find this the easiest. So I'm going to put the needle point coming out where I want the next stitch to end. I'm going to wrap my yarn around it gently and pull. And it looks like a chain. You can put the needle all the way down and bring it all the way up, but I find scooping gives me much better control. The way to make this look very, very neat is to try and get the chains, each one of those chains, to be about the same height. So go back down exactly where you came out and come up about the same length forward, following your little line. Pull it up gently not too tight and not too loose. And there's my chain. I got to give myself a little more room here. So once again, go back down the exact same place that you came out of. Now, when we do surface crochet and make chain stitches, we want the chains to be equal. We want to go in and out of every stitch or every row or every you know, exact amount of time. We want to always come up in the top or the bottom of a stitch to make sure that the stitches are even. However, if you're going in a circle, which is a lot of times while you use the chain embroidery instead of surface crochet, your needle's going to come up where it comes. It might be the top of a stitch or the bottom of the stitch, but it might be between a couple of threads. Don't make yourself crazy. Try not to split the plies of the yarn. But other than that, wherever the needle comes out is wherever the needle comes out. So once again, back down in the exact same place that the needle came out of. This is really one of those things that you will get better at with practice. Again, they're not exactly, exactly, exactly the same, but the closer they are to consistent, the nicer your lines are going to look. So this is the scoop method of doing chain stitch. And by the way, this works on knitting too. So now you can see I'm really, I'm kind of coming around the corner here. So I'm really going to change the whole work around. And you always want to make sure that your tip of your needle comes up in the loop. If it comes out outside of the loop, when you pull, like the, if your needle was over here and you pull, it'll just undo like it would, like a regular chain stitch would. This is a great technique for embroidering words. 
or again curvy designs. If I'm doing plaids I like to use the surface crochet because I just think the chains are more even that way. But if I was putting a flower or a name, some kind of personalization, using this chain stitch embroidery is really, and by the way it does work on knitting also. One last little point I wish to make, there it is, taking the curve. If you've made a mistake and you don't like where it is, you know, take the time to fix it while you're going. Go ahead and just pull the yarn out. Ooh, I'm a little twisty here. <laughs> pull the yarn out of the tapestry needle. And then just undo the one you were in. So pull the loop out. Say I didn't like where those two chains were. I can just pull them out like a regular chain stitch. Okay, I'm gonna pull that loop up, like I, again, like I would with a regular chain stitch because I don't want it to come out. While I'm working, I flip over to the back and uh, pull out that yarn to the wrong side of the fabric where it was. Rethread my tapestry needle. And then come back up where I want the stitch to be and make sure that I'm going through that loop. When it's not in the loop is where you can lose track of it. Okay, and now I can just go on my merry way. So it's really pretty easy to rip out, but it's one of those things you wanna pay lots of attention so that say you put a stitch in and it's either not the direction you wanna go in or you feel it's really too short or too tall and just doesn't match the rest of them, take the time to take it out when you see it. Don't wait until you get to the very end of your piece because then you'll have a lot to rip out and nobody likes to do that. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on chain stitch embroidery. My name is Mary Beth Temple from Hooked for Life. Thank you so much for joining us here on Yarnspirations.com. We look forward to seeing you again here real soon.